Hey Bayek, it's me and, and in today's video I'm continuing my look at the second season of The X-Files and this is episode 11, Excelsius Day from 1994. Um, this uh, actually in Latin means the highest, there you are. <laughs> um, previously we'd had um, Red Museum, and the next one will be Aubrey, which will that will be in January nineteen ninety five. Um, there's no Rotten Tomatoes rating at all I can find on this. Um, now this was transmitted on the sixteenth of December nineteen ninety four on the Fox Network. And on the 6th of November 1995, in the UK, it was transmitted on BBC Two. Um, I think it's fair to say this is a Monster of the Week episode. There's no um, wider conspiracy, which we've been used to. Um, now, this is written by Paul Brown. Um who previously had um, written Ascension, which was the sixth episode of uh, this season, 1994. Apparently, in the script arrived two days before shooting. Could you imagine that, the strain and the... Um, well, what it did, it put them under a lot of pressure because you know how much you've got to prepare with scripts. Um, so... That's just a, an interesting fact. And now, as usual in these productions, they manage to just get on with it. They have to get on with it. There's no choice. You're on a schedule. You have to get on with it. Um, now, this is directed by Stephen Sergic, um, who um, was well known um, for Wayne's World 2 as a director in 1993. And I Want Candy, uh, 2009. But his old CV is just full of TV shows and uh, TV series. Um, now, the locations are quite familiar. Um, um, the Riverside um, Hospital in um, Coquaslam, um, British Columbia is used quite a lot, um, as is the area around Coquaslam uh, in British Columbia. <laughs> I know my pronunciation is probably totally wrong, but there we are. Um, now, um, this um, cast, um, I'll just get into it. We've got David Duchovny, who plays Fox Mulder. And we've got Gillian Anderson playing Dana Scully. That's it. There's no other semi-regulars at all in this. It's just those two. Um, so, um, other actors that are, uh, are in this are Terrell um, Rothery, who plays um, Michelle Charters. Uh, she was in a lot of TV series and TV shows, but he's really well known for being in Stargate SG-1 from 1997 to 2006. That's quite a lot. Uh, where she played Dr. Janet Fraser. Um, then we've got uh, Sab Shimono, who plays Gong the Bitong. Uh, he was in Midway, 1976, Presumed Innocent, 1990, which is a Harrison Ford film. He was in Waterworld, yeah, Waterworld, Kevin Cousin Waterworld, 1995. Uh, and he was in Southland Tales, 2006. 
Um, and he was in The Watcher 2016. And again, there's a whole host of roles in TV series and TV films. Massive amount again. Then we've got Frances Bay, who plays Dorothy. Uh, she was in uh, Amy, 1981. The Karate Kid, 1984. Blue Velvet, 1986. Some great films here. Twins, Arnie film, uh, 1988. 1992, single white female. I told you some brilliant films. Uh, 1994, In the Mouth of Madness, which is a John Carpenter film. Um, also, um, Happy Gilmore, um, that's 1996, I think it's Adam Sadler. Um, Wedding Planner, 2001. And uh, Repo Chick. 2009 which is a, a sequel to uh repo man um an alex cox uh film uh there we are uh it's, again just lots of tv series and tv shows then we've got eric christmas on him christmas is your surname anyhow uh he plays stan phillips uh, he was in the Andromeda uh, strain, 1971, which is classic sci-fi. Harold and Maud, 1971. Horror, The Changeling, 1980. And then Porky's, 1981. Porky's 2, uh, the next day. Uh, he was in that one as well, the sequel to uh, Porky's. Um, then he uh, was in The Philadelphia Experiment, 1984, which is a brilliant, absolutely brilliant term, film. Time travel, yep. Uh, and then Porky's Revenge, 1985. So it was in three Porky's films. Uh, yes. Okay, so um, oh, the music is as usual by um, Mark Snow um and um let's get into what this is about um now um Mulder and Scully are called into this nursing home which is called Excelsior's Day uh to investigate a claim um that one of the nurses says she was raped by an invisible entity and as they investigate, that uh, another two deaths actually happen as well, and it all becomes linked somehow to this experimental drug to help um, Alzheimer's patients uh, improve, um, and we can see that that has happened apparently in some cases. Uh, also, we get a, a magic mushroom link as well that comes into the story uh, which might explain certain things uh, and the, the the case kind of just follows on logically as they go deeper into it and um, I think the it's not a surprise um, really what happens um, but overall um, it's interesting because this this has had quite mixed reviews from what I've read, uh, how it's seen in terms of an X file episode. But I think it does actually quite a good job. Um, it's quite eerie, particularly when we see all these ghost um, images and, you know, going by. It's brilliantly shot. Um, and I think they, that is really creepy. It really is when you see these um images wonderful um uh and of course the the magic mushroom link is explained because they it's the an hallucinogenic so therefore that's another part um and it's there's all sorts of interesting little snippets again in the relationship between uh Mulder and scully like there's references to Mulder's uh porn stash which he's got on various tapes, which uh, Sully, uh, Scully talks about. Um, 
which is uh, quite funny. Um, uh, but I think overall this works well. It does work well, um, though it's not considered, uh, you know, high up. It's not considered low. It's just sort of in the middle. Uh, I think there were some criticisms that the rape wasn't looked into enough in terms of the simp only Scully seems to show any more of real concern about that. Um, that is seen, I think, as a, a certain weakness in this. Um, uh, and I think some of kind of don't like the aspects of the older people in it and the, the orderlies, the way they treated or seem to be. There's various things which I don't think sat well with uh, a lot of people. Um, and I think that kind of made people think that this episode wasn't as good. But I, I think it's interesting. I think it, it's creepy enough, as I say, with these the special effects that they use, that we see these dead people um, wandering around. And um, I think it, it, it is good in that sense. Um, but as I say, I don't think it's the best episode, but it's enjoyable. You can sit back and enjoy this as in the X-Files tradition. And always Mulder and Scully, their relationship is always the center stone um, of all this, really. It's, it's the foundation of the series. And we get all those bits in there as they're investigating, which is always good to see which makes this such an enjoyable series, um, watching their relationship develop, which is already quite deep um, at this stage. Um, it, it's, it's very good. It's excellent, really. Um, so I don't know what else to say, really, because um, I think that goes through it. I don't want to give too much away, but yeah, I think you can guess um what is happening and you can guess who's involved in this um but um i think it, it's a good episode i say you wouldn't put it as the highest or you wouldn't put it as a bad episode it's not a bad episode um i enjoyed it and i'm, I'm really pleased as usual to be watching these episodes i'm enjoying them it's great looking back seeing these again absolutely fantastic um so before I go, I, as usual, say, hey, there it is. The wonderful uh, second season's small box set within the big box set. Yes, yeah, there it is. Wonderful. Absolutely fantastic. I don't think I can say anything else. That's it. Um, so if you're new to the channel, um, please subscribe. And have a look in the playlist and you can see all the previous reviews I've done on the X-Files, which uh, hopefully you can enjoy, or perhaps not, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but also, um, I review films, um, TV series, and some music. Um, and if you like this particular video, please give this video a like. If you give it a like, it gets it out onto YouTube and then hopefully other people might enjoy it. And if you've got any comments, please put your comments down. I love to read your comments and I'll always answer them back. I will. Um, so that's it. So all I've got to say is I'll see thee. I'll see thee again.